Alrighty, welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Mr. Shank, coming to you live from Walker Grant Middle School. And in this video, we're just going to be working through uh, a couple ideas for these simple interest notes. And this is going to be the last thing we're, that we've talked about for this unit, too. But I wanted to make sure that we had some uh, good ideas moving forward. So this is kind of what happens uh, if you ever need to borrow money or maybe even save up money, you, you're going to have a loan. And so anytime you're going to be working with it, there's always that keyword of interest. So uh, the principal, that's going to be your starting, your starting amount. All right, and so that's the amount of money that you uh, borrowed or saved. And so that's what usually you start with is that principal. And so for the rate, it's going to be that percentage, percentage that you're earning per year. And then the interest, that's the amount of money paid or, or, or earned for borrowing or lending money. And so that's what we're mainly going to be solving for, but we should be able to solve for uh, any of these. And then uh, just like we did previously, when we had a balance, that's going to be the amount of interest added. It's going to be the amount of interest added to the original amount. And so in here, we're going to have uh, our main formula for solving for interest is going to be that I equals, and then it's going to be P times R times T. Again, uh, since we're, we have these variables right next to each other, we're going to be multiplying those. And so make sure we know what those letters stand for, because they're not just letters, they're variables. So they're going to be values where I is interest, interest. P is going to be our principal, principal. R is going to be our rate. And we write that as a decimal. T, very simply, is just going to be time in years. And then uh, B is going to be that balance. And again, we say for balance, that's just going to be our principal plus our interest. Now, what happens if we have to now maybe solve for our principal? Well, we would say something like this. We'd say P equals, and that's just going to be um, a little bit of manipulation of this main formula. We're going to say it's going to be uh, I over and then rate times time. If we were solving for rate, we would say R equals, and then it's going to be interest over, and then principal times uh, your time. If it was your solving for time now, it's going to be your T equals and then interest over principal times your rate. Again, these four formulas, I mean, they're all, uh, or excuse me, these three formulas are based off of this main one in the center, and we're just manipulating them a little bit. And I'll do a couple examples here for you. So, it has this. It says uh, you invest $2,500 into a savings account at a bank that earns 6.5 interest annually. Again, that's yearly. If you keep the money in the bank for eight years, how much would you receive? So you're looking for interest in this one. So we're going to say our interest is what we're looking for. We say our uh, principal, that's that starting amount, is going to be that $2,500. Our rate as a decimal, make sure you're changing this value to a decimal. So this is going to be 0 0.065. And then our time in years is 8 years. So again, you can just set up your formula. So you say I equals P times R times T. And we're saying, OK, plug in our values. So we say 2,500 times our uh, decimal and we have times 8. And so when you multiply those three together, you should end up with the uh, interest of $1,300. Again, this is super, super simple, but you want to make sure that you're solving for the right item. So suppose you invest $2,000 at a rate of 4.5%. Uh, How long will it take to earn this amount? So now you're solving for T. So we're going to say, all right, 
our interest, we're looking to earn this amount. So that's going to be that 495. Our principal is that starting amount. And again, usually uh, between these two, the principal is going to be the larger do dollar amount. Our rate, again, is that decimal. And we're looking for T, and so we can leave that be unknown. Again, we can use uh, these formulas that we had. So we say T equals, and we can say I over, and then principal times the rate. Again, just substitute those out. So we say, all right, 495 in the numerator, and then we have 2,000, 2,000, and then we have 0 0.045. Again, make sure that you're calculating carefully for yourself. So we're going to end up with 495 over 90, which this is equal to 5.5. And we're saying that since it's time, it's going to be 5.5 years. All right. So then on the back, I just want to do uh, these two real quick for you guys. So it says Mary borrowed this amount, and so that's going to be our principal. We can say that the bank charges a rate of 5.5%. And if this is uh, T, how, how much interest will she make? Or, or how much intre interest will there be? And then it also asked at the very end what will be the balance. So we're going to say... I equals P times R times T. And then you're going to say, all right, I is going to be 4,500 times your decimal value times your time. Again, you change four point, or excuse me, you change four and uh, one half years to 4.5 years to be able to multiply carefully. And so, again, multiplying those three numbers together very simply is what you will do. So you're going to say $1,113.75. So again, that's just our interest. For our balance, again, our balance is equal to the principal plus the interest. Again, plug in the values that you found. So we said uh, 4500 plus the interest that we found. Add those two together very simply for yourself, and you know you're good. So again, at the end of four and a half years, this is her balance that she will owe. And first, if you're trying to find that balance, you must find that interest first. All right. So the last one I'll, I'll do in this video, uh, it says Kim wants to earn $252 in interest. If she starts with $2,400 at an annual rate of 7%, how long will it take her? So again, now we're looking for time. So we're going to say T is equal to I over P times R. So we're going to say, all right, I is equal to uh, that $252. The principal is equal to 2400 The rate is that 0.07%. And that time is what we're looking for. Again, you plug in those values. So you say, all right, 252 in the numerator. And you have 2400 in the denominator with that your rate. Multiplying carefully. And the bottom should have a 168, which simplifies to 1.5 years. So again, try these out uh, for yourself as well. Be able to use the correct formulas for yourself.